good afternoon today is april 5th 2024 is currently 12 30 in the afternoon eastern standard time i received a word from the lord on tuesday april 2nd 2024 at 5 8 p.m eastern standard time the lord wants this word titled stay close to me uh, he said it specifically to his to his bride to my bride, to my remnant, my chosen. Those are the words that he used. As always, I encourage you, we are to test every spirit. Don't just take um, at face value what you hear. Take it back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time. Ask him if it was coming from his spirit. Ask him if it was pertaining to you and if there's anything you need to take away from it as well. You can also meditate on his word day and night, like we're required to do, and he will speak to you there. And this is what the Lord said. Perilous times are ahead. Stay close to me. Keep your armor on daily. Do not throw your pearls to swine. Not everyone has your best interests at heart. There are people whose inquisition is only for the purpose of trying to trap you, cause offense, pull you off the path I have set, and collect information that can later be used against you. Some of them were sent specifically to monitor your movements. Be wary and mindful of who you disclose personal information to. This has been the calm before the storm. Many surprises are on the horizon. The people of the world are about to be blindsided by the level of tragedy, war, and chaos that is about to break out across the nations, much, much more than it has been. As my kindness, leniency, and patience is meant to draw them to repentance, but instead of repenting, they are encouraging others to engage in the things they do. They are not satisfied being wicked within themselves. They are seeking to pull other people into the depths of their depravity. I have relented many times from completely destroying a nation, but my patience is wearing thin. The darkness within them is all pervasive. I have given them what they wanted. Many have become reprobate. Their conscience is seared as if branded with a hot iron. They have become proficient at practicing evil but when it comes to doing good, they have become, sorry, they have no knowledge at all. Some are crying for me like never before, and I have chosen to show pity and have compassion on many of them whose hearts long to find me again. I have chosen to show them mercy and make a way out of the muck and the miry clay they have found themselves wallowing in. I will have compassion on who I will have compassion. Those who are forgiven much, love much, and love me, they will. My children, I am positioning many of you to offer discipleship to those I have rescued after falling heed to seducing spirits. I have commanded you to bear the burdens of your brothers and sisters. They will need extra care and attention through deliverance, healing, and recovery. You will need to be patient. You will also help them learn biblical truths and unlearn many types of deceptive teaching. Make sure they understand this will be a lengthy process and they will encounter much opposition after they have moved from death to life. Your job is to encourage them and to help them establish a closer relationship with me. Make sure they are meditating on the word day and night. Pray for their discernment so they won't be deceived again. Take time to explain biblical truths. Answer any questions they have to the best of your ability. Be a listening ear when they become impatient or frustrated. Pray against the warfare coming up against them and cover yourself as well in prayer. The warfare coming up against those who are discipling my children will be significant. The devil does not want them growing in their walk or increasing in righteousness, but that is exactly why I have assigned many of you to this task. It will not be easy. You will be offering encouragement during very uncertain times. 
You will also teach them how to engage in spiritual warfare and exercise the authority I have given them. You have everything you need to be successful. I am the Lord. My ways are higher than the heavens. My thoughts are greater than your own. My understanding is unsearchable. I do everything with purposeful intent. And I do not and I will not ever fail. So neither will you, saith the Lord of hosts, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the way, the truth, and the life. I'm going to share with you the confirmations that I received shortly after. While in the Bible, the Lord highlighted these key words to me in Daniel 11, the word appointed, the words great and mighty army, and the words his chosen people. Then he led me to Hosea 4, 6. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Malachi 3, 1. Behold, I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. Luke 1, 78 to 79. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of people. Isaiah 1-2, listen, O heavens, pay attention, earth. This is what the Lord says. The children I raised and cared for have rebelled against me. Isaiah 1-4, O oh, what a sinful nation they are, loaded down with a burden of guilt. They are evil people, corrupt children, who have rejected the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel and turned their backs on Him. Isaiah 1.11 What makes you think I want all of your sacrifices, says the Lord? I am sick of your burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fattened cattle. I get no pleasure from the blood of bulls and lambs and goats. When you come to worship me, who asked you to parade through my courts with all your ceremony? Stop bringing me your meaningless gifts, the incense of your offerings. Disgust me. Isaiah 1.15 When you lift up your hands in prayer, I will not look. Though you offer many prayers, I will not listen. For your hands are covered with the blood of innocent victims. Lamentations 1.16 for all these things I weep, tears flow down from my cheeks. John 3.19 And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world. But people loved the darkness more than the light. For their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it. For fear their sins will be exposed. John 4.13 Jesus replied, Anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again. But those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Ephesians 5.10 A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. First Peter 2, just part of verse 8. They stumble because they do not obey God's word. And so they meet the fate that was planned for them. But you are not like that. You are a chosen people. You are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. 1 Peter 2.15 It is God's will that your honorable lives should silence these ignorant people who make foolish accusations against you. Excuse me. First Peter 2, 6, just these words. And anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. Daniel 6, 26. 
just these words for he is the living God and he will endure forever. Isaiah 36 10. What's more, do you think we have invaded your land without the Lord's direction? The Lord himself told us to attack this land and destroy it. And the last one, Deuteronomy 32, 46 to 47. Take to heart all the words of warning I have given you today. Pass them on as a command to your children, so they will obey every word of these instructions. These instructions are not empty words. They are your life.